one. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gentleman's Den for another hour of stimulating and titillating conversation about current events in the world. Stimulating. My name is Sean, and to my left, as always, is Frankie, and to the right, as always, is Jeff. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Doing good. Hi, doing guys. Doing real good. Celebrating America. Fucking Woo. freedom. Here, America. We got, li- we got a little listen to, to a little bit of freedom. Ooh. Ooh, that's the sound of freedom. <laughs> that's the sound of freedom right there, boys. <laughs> that's a Pep's Blue Ribbon, and that is red, white, and motherfucking blue. Raise, motherfucking blue. Raise them drinks up to... Cheers, boys. America. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, motherfucker. And that's Rumble Mints. <laughs> Ooh, that's yeah. Good. Ooh. So how's everybody's weeks, boys? How we all doing? Too good. Much Jameson. Lighting off fireworks. I got all my fucking Ooh. fingers and toes. I hope everyone listening does too. Yeah. <laughs> no JPP incidents this year. Nope. No Jason Pierre Pauls out there. I actually did almost lose a toe, but it just got smashed by. That's because one of the twins. Because you're fucking around with the little kids and the little Man, kids. The kids should be up playing. When I see them sitting on the chair, I'm like, go play. What's crazy is they got a fireworks store across fucking right street. down the street, right, basically across the street from my house. Mm-hmm. We go over there. There's just, I mean, this whole, it's a fucking warehouse full of shit. I'm looking at it. I'm like, hell yeah, we're going to have a fucking party. The guy's like, yeah, no, you're from Wisconsin. He's like, this is your rack right here. Snakes, Snakes and sparklers. sparklers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? All the good shits for everyone out of town? I live right over there, dude. Right over, right over there. Right over there, dude. Right across the street. <laughs> right across the street. <laughs> You're telling me I can't have the good stuff? No whisker do's or whisker don'ts? <laughs> Not one whistling kitty chaser? Uh, with or without the snake no. stick? Snakes and sparklers. But <laughs> thankfully, stuff. that's all I like. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to get the good stuff. Yeah, well, that's why we, we got, got Frankie here. Stuff. Yeah, Mr. One Illinois thing, came One thing up I'm good for. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good time. A lot of fun. Work sucked the next day, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I I, I envy you, gentlemen. I didn't have to work. That was uh that was wonderful. Jeff was the real hero. Getting up at like what, two thirty? Two thirty in the morning on Friday after two. lighting off fireworks and drinking all the goddamn day. Yeah, you went to bed America. you went to bed like at eleven thirty, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah after sixteen weird. shots for you know. Oh, yeah. I know we said oh we'll stop Our at Lady like Liberty. Five. Well, then we'll stop at six. So then we'll stop at seven. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the a quick story real quick about that day because I had a fucking breakdown. We, we, <laughs> oh no! Yeah, dude, we go to the fucking grocery store, <laughs> Frankie and I, after we get done smoking a rig, oh. and I was high as fuck, just higher than that, dude. Yeah, I was orbiting fucking the third moon of fucking. Endor. You were like doing on the. Doing the worm on Saturn's rings. Yeah, I was. Bro, there's not even a scale to I, measure up this. Yeah, guy. I I took a fucking journey. <laughs> so, <laughs> side note to this story. <laughs> Jeff and I go to get sandwiches from said gas station, and this dude walked up behind me and got uncomfortably close. He was like probably an inch from the back of your neck. Like you, c- <laughs> I could smell the stale beer and Paul Malls on his breath as he said, excuse me. No, he said, excuse me. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff, for being my voice consultant. I think he had one eye open when he yeah. said it, and he's got to stumble past. <laughs> <laughs> to grab a four-pack of High Life. So anyway, we're standing in line, and like I said, I'm – I'm fucking orbiting Saturn. And uh Frankie goes, Ooh, I need a bottle of water. So he hands me he hands me two cases of beer and the twelve bags of candy we bought for the kids. <laughs> and this dude is right behind us in line. The same dude. Leader, same bro. fucking guy. And he <laughs> starts talking to me <laughs> and I'm catching every third word this guy's live action <laughs> boom <hour. laughs> this, is, this is king of the hill times 10 <laughs> and this motherfucker is going he goes yeah i work far with chicken with cows brews, games, and i'm like yeah man chickens cows fucking 
being <laughs> right on America. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Raise your flag. You fucking. Yeah, champagne of beers. I got you, brother. <laughs> So I let him go in front of me, and he like just get the fuck away from me. Go yeah, nods his head. We get up to the, we get up to the, you know, to pay, and the lady's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry about that." I'm like, "Ah, oh, yeah, no problem." Like it didn't affect me like when I was in the store, but it was when I got in the car and actually thought about it for a second. You realize that was your uncle. My <laughs> <laughs> might have been my dad. Who knows? <laughs> my brain fucking went. It re- like re- it like reset. I went to fucking Narnia. <laughs> we got we get back to the house and I li- literally I am in my I am completely happy inside, but I just start bawling. Not like ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't <laughs> stop the tears from coming. It was like I had an allergic reaction. It was the most insane thing ever. I see. I just thought you were too fucked up when we pulled no, up. No, I like, didn't. I need a minute. I, I that's like, what it right, was. I like the AC. We'll go work some shit I'm out quick. quick. Yeah, so I I go inside. I go upstairs. I sit at the table. I'm and I'm on my phone. I'm just typing th- th- what just happened, so I can remember it. Because I'm like, I need this fresh in my memory. Because this is good yeah, fucking probably material. No way you would have remembered. <laughs> this is good fucking material. <laughs> Not a chance. And and what it was was like for a couple of weeks, I was feeling really fucking down on myself, which I normally don't anymore. To be honest with you, I'm really fucking good. PMA, that. bro. Yeah. And I just for for some reason for the last two weeks I life has kicked me in the nuts. So I'm just like, all right, you know what? Fuck, you know I I felt like fucking low. Then I just looked at that guy and I was like, bro, my life ain't bad. So much better <laughs> about myself now. A lot of people do that shit, man. They're like, man, my life sucks. I want this and I want oh, that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you can't. Bro, always, you got it. You got it pretty fucking good. Yep. You know, every and day you're moving. We all do. And, and I and it was like the most joyful experience of my life it's just because you were hanging out with us all day that too like i said <laughs> you know i thank you guys you guys are my family no matter what i love you thick, too, brother. thick thin no matter what you guys proud. are my fucking family and it was just like you know I'm, I'm looking around and i'm i got back here and i looked around and the boys are playing bella's running around like the fucking savage she is yeah i'm squirt pretty guns yeah squirt guns and jeff is fucking cooking and on the grill it just it was fucking purebred americana right in my fucking face mm. reminds me of the fast and furious movie yeah <laughs> it was just family, family. <laughs> hanging out it was it's not that for quarter mile at a time yeah Sean was drinking a corona <laughs> you yeah, know which, he only has pbr yeah that's as it. i have that's a like glue to it in all honesty i have a 24 ounce pbr because <laughs> always on hit because for america today i was gonna do a brass monkey but none of the gas stations in town sell 40 <laughs> ounces of Old you English. You didn't go to Sitco, bro. I went to Sitco. How dare you? They used to have 40 ounces the, of King Cobra. They have. They had Mickey's, and I didn't want to do Mickey's. And then everything yeah, else was like malt. It, everything else was ball, a Bud Light, Miller Light, Corona. I'm like, I, Light. that wouldn't. None of that would mm. be good. You got to go to a special place. For I that. I got to get. I want Old English yeah. 800. Come to the hood. There's by like me. a gun store next door. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you got to get it authentic. Ooh, there better be a free clinic on the other side. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> a I nice plan. I wanted to get that meat for the for the barbecue and stuff, and we should have did it. And you live in. And, yeah. Then I got to drive the meat in, out. And <laughs> you live in. Tenderize it. The I don't know Mexico what you put of in the it. north. Yeah. Bro. All you got to do is pick it up. It takes a day. <laughs> <laughs> Which, when I saw this card fight tonight, I thought tonight would have been a night, but you know. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. And. uh you all will be listening to this on uh, Sunday or some point in the week. Somewhere. A- so be sometime some after they're action. done. Yeah. Ben Askren got knocked out in five seconds, which is hilarious. <laughs> that shit was fucking crazy. He, he had a flying Don't knee. go for the legs right away. Yeah. Right? yeah. Just pace yourself. Yeah. If First of all, why do they fucking... Why Shoot. do they just run at each other right off the bat? That's like, what I didn't understand. Isn't there like a feeler point? He's come like, out swinging. It. Fuck it. Just why are you bull charging... 90 miles an hour, and if you see a guy bull charging you 90 miles an hour, man, step to the left or step to the right. Let him go past you, then Olay. go for your shot. <laughs> this motherfucker goes for a shot and eats a knee on the top of his head, and he is dunzo. Then in the in the post game, Jorge Masvidal said, I hit him the extra times because I was trying to wake him up to make the fight go longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. I wanted, I wanted classic. it to go longer than five seconds. So, oh, shit. And, you know, Amanda Nunez knocks out Holly Holm in the first round, which just solidifies her as the best 
woman's female fighter of all time. Yeah, I'm glad you put your phone down to spend some time and talk with us. Hey, you know, I, I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm putting a little. Amanda Nunez is a fucking beast, dude. I'm, Jesus I'm Christ. afraid to get hit by Amanda Nunez. Yeah. She is a fucking tank. After she knocked Cyborg out, I was like, oh, fuck. She's a savage. I'm a lover, not a fighter. That's what's great about, like, you know, we were talking earlier about basketball and, you know, the Kawhi Leonard trade and all that stuff. And, like, crazy. Basketball is probably the most, like, predictable sport. Like, if you have the best players, you're probably going to win. Yeah. But in, like, UFC. It's wow, anybody's wow. fucking yeah. game. Anytime something like could happen. Like, you can be the baddest motherfucker on the planet. Catch and one of the jets. And just get starched. One, you're done. Yeah. I mean, look at, think about it. Chuck Liddell for all those years back in the day was just fucking dominant. And Rashad hit him with that hook and spun his head sideways. And that Never was Never the it. same. <laughs> yeah. Never the same. Yeah. Sometimes you just get a hit and you just. Rashad broke. Well, Mike, back Mike up. Tyson had the greatest line ever. Everyone's got a game plan until you, you get, get punched, punched in the, the face. face. <laughs> right? And it's so true. It's like, okay, I'm going to do this and this. You study you film, and then as soon as he hits you, oh, you're fuck. like, oh, fuck. Okay, listen. <laughs> I instantly regretted this is, <laughs> getting in the ring. <laughs> this is, in all honesty, if I ever had Mike, if it was me versus Mike Tyson in his prime. You're the, dead. The way I would train, the way I would train, literally, you the would way, practice falling down. <laughs> That's how you would no, train. The, the way I would, tra- the way I would train for was I wouldn't watch film because watching film, you're just gonna be, you're gonna get intimidated as fuck. What I would do is I would hire eight guys and give them bats wrapped in towels and just let them hit me in the head every day. That's pretty much and it. And knock me unconscious. <laughs> Well, they said his punching power was basically putting a pillow over your face and letting someone whack you with a baseball bat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what I would do is obviously I would just let them swing bats at me and try to get through it. Are you wearing <laughs> the whack, pillow? Whack, whack, whack. Yeah. No, I'm not wearing the you pillow. pillow suit? I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm just bareheading it because it's guy. Uh, you know, I'm putting a boxing glove on the end of a bat and yeah. just taking it off the head. Jesus. I just I just love the MMA shit because you you never know. You know, well, that's the thing. Like Anderson Silva versus Chael Sonnen. When we we DJ that night, we got stiffed. Yeah, because stiff. he's you, a stiffed, right? Because well, you guys, the fucking fat guy was giving me shit. That that dude was growing potatoes underneath his nuts. I don't give a shit what anybody says. But Anderson that's Silva is getting worked for five or four and a half rounds. Throws up a triangle, taps the guy out with fucking thirty right seconds end, left with those two thumbs and index fingers. No, he didn't he throw. Did he didn't go, throw up uh, the rock. The Vulcan neck pinch, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he was paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> paralyzed. <laughs> he couldn't move. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why I love contact sports, though. Boxing, you know, you bo- know. boxing, MMA, football is a contact sport. You don't ba- basketball. Unfortunately, is like we're all going to get on the same team and dominate. In all honesty, yeah. if say if the Lakers got Kawhi, if they did not go eighty-two and zero and not lose a game in the well, fucking they playoffs, they would play that many games. All of them are like LeBron and no, Kawhi. No, they got to play rest fifty-five now, bro. games. Yeah, it's they want to play fifty-five games. This, this is what I'm they saying. Get sore and shit. If they if they don't win by an average of twenty points a game, they're not doing it right. Because that's an all-star team. Yeah, I mean, that's, already, there's so many moves. Watch this it. is the most exciting free agency there's been in the NBA in years. Well, it is exciting, but then it's like it's exciting the free agency, and then oh, look at all these players. So now it's like the Clippers. Well, the Clippers have a chance. The deep. Lakers have a chance. Golden State has a chance. Yeah, Golden State doesn't have a the, chance next year. They're, they're saying Clay will be back midseason. So we'll see what he can do. They got D'Angelo Russell. They, they made a big yeah, signing ho- trade. Ho- hold on. Let, let, let's look at Clay this way. You just blew your ACL out. Yeah. You're on your last year, you're, or you just signed your contract Max, extension. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Guess what? Sit the fuck out and heal up 100%. Yeah, but they want to be How many guys it have come back to her? Derek Rose. What happened? Yeah. Came back too early. You never know. Blew that no, bitch out didn't. again. He <laughs> didn't. He didn't. He, he gave out. He gave it he, plenty of time. He still blew that bitch out early again. Oh, a year ago, the DRP. He's he sat out the. Oh, oh man, I was watching highlight reels the I, other day. I, I went on so the YouTube vortex. You're gonna hear this a lot. I go down the YouTube vortex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, on the YouTube vortex. It's Derrick Rose highlights, and I was like, oh my god, because we're all Chicago fans and. 
Derrick Rose was the best thing that happened to the Bulls since Michael Jordan. Dude, he was amazing. It was insane what he was doing to people. And then what happened to him is just a the fucking thing, yeah. tragedy. Well, and and the yeah. problem that I have with that is the Bulls were up by like 15 with two minutes left. Why the fuck is he even in Tom the game? Because Tom Thibodeau's fucking Dude. running them ragged, bro. <laughs> That's stay why Jimmy up, Butler up, left. Jimmy up. Butler even said, Do I think, what was it job. this year? He's like... Yeah, he nah, that ain't that don't work in the NBA. He'd be an awesome college coach because those kids could ain't run going all nowhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're fucked. Like, oh yeah, you you want your scholarship taken away? I fucking can't stand college sports, dude. Yeah, see, I, I can't I, stand their no, they're sometimes. oh they're they're student athletes, I, student athletes, guys. I love college football, as you both know. Small talk. How do you feel about them getting paid? I wish they would. They should, should. 100%. 100%. Sure. Yeah. Because when you're bringing in billions, not millions, billions of dollars to your school, like Alabama. Yeah. But like, you're getting a free education. Yeah. Right. No. And, and Get fucked. Let listen, me pay for it. The, be- the best thing about the NBA is they only have the one year in college rule. So those guys aren't even going for their education anyway. Right. They're, right. they're just going to get Zion. You think Zion it's wants a fucking no. – Zion don't give a but, fuck about it. No. But what Ben Simmons was saying – not Ben Simmons, the – the the writer, not the Basketball point guard. Player. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He said, uh, "Why not just go to the D League, play a year in the D League?" Yeah, and then why go, hasn't uh, someone? Why hasn't someone thought of of starting a league that pays people? Out it of high it is. It, it's, it's it's all overseas. Yeah, for the most Frank, part, but yeah. But why no, not no. here though? Why couldn't like that's so that new football league started up and it's already gone? The AFL. Yeah, yeah, it was like a right. And a half a year. Yeah, no, they made it through eight games, but that's because they went bankrupt. So yeah, so why don't they make like a a league like that? Where they do. College. It's called the XFL. It's coming bro, in twenty twenty. Not yet, bro. Twenty twenty, baby boy. I love the XFL. Oh, I, I, I yeah. So much so. I'm, I'm. There's championship. I'm scared that uh, it's gonna fucking fall flat though. Oh, it's gonna 100 percent fall flat. But why though? People are so obsessed with fucking football. Because you know what? Because I think it might the NFL, off. the, the NFL, NFL is king. The, it's is, fucking awesome. It, yeah, and, but you know what? Now that sports gambling is legal in most places, I think more sports are coming because it's something more sports, more better. I mean, yeah, right. What's wrong? Get comfortable, sir. I do that bar stool is <laughs> killing my ass. I had to, I had to change up you. seats. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, there's so much money in sports and now with gambling and all that. Like, like the Clippers' odds were like a hundred to one or something, and now they're down to like thirty to one. Or Mitch to to the MVP. I mean. His odds went from two hundred to one to fifty to one because it got betted so much. Yeah, well, you gotta realize too what the what the bear, the Bears are getting heavy money thrown on them because they have to win this year because next year they're yeah, twenty six million over the cap. Yeah. Well, that's what's funny about like the odds and shit because that's not like the favorite to win. That's just like who's betting people to win. The so odds. then the odds the, they, they right. get adjusted. Right. So if a lot of people are betting the Bears to win, obviously well, think the, of odds, that, the odds bet on fucking tw- change. Two hundred to one, a hundred dollar bet, you're winning twenty grand. If it's a long shot, yeah, he might win it, he might not. But if he did, to put a hundred dollars on to have some fun and root for something for the year, it's gonna, it's, it's awesome. That, well, that's you know, the fun about about gambling, like right. you said, like it's, it's the it, entertainment. It's more interest. Like there's a Monday bullshit Monday night game. It's the fucking Jets against the Dolphins. Who the fuck cares? Right. But if you got money invested in it, you're like, fuck yeah, then let's you're go Jets in or, for sure. you know? Yeah, it's exactly. definitely, definitely way more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's, 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 it makes the games worth watching. Absolutely. Right. Because think about it. And why I, is it illegal anyway? It's it well, it's well, not no, anymore. It's fed, it's no well, longer. Well, I know, but like, why was it for so? It's like because weed, taxing, you know. What because I'm saying? they're taxing like, it. Well, it's not even that. Oh, it's shit, also man. because they wanted to keep the purity of the game. Right. No betting on it. Yeah, they so. didn't want any fucking Pete as, Rose shit. As going Pete on. Rose is. But there's always going to be someone trying to someone trying to fuck the system. Yeah, oh, someone trying to come up. That's you know, it's the way the world is. Cutthroat as fuck. Just whatever to get myself further and you know beneficial myself and and my friends and my family exactly <laughs> you guys are my friends and family oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you just want all vin diesel on us again <laughs> 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 i 
<laughs> you son of a bitch. And, you know, eventually we're going to have this in video so you guys can see these assholes wearing fucking sunglasses. I always wear my right sunglasses. He's my sunglasses me. are on point right now, <laughs> bro. Those are your women. Je- Jeff huh? straight up looks like, <laughs> looks like he's going to an Elton John concert. Does, so yeah, I look like I'm auditioning do. for Rocket Man. <laughs> Macho Man Tank T and Macho like Man Tank Top, bro. Pink. He's still in the shit he was wearing at the at the boat today with all the bros. Oh, I went on. All right, so around we live uh, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, and there's. Have you ever heard of the chain of lakes? Fucking off! It's literally off the chain, bro. And I fucking had to enter the bro zone today. (laughs) (laughs) We get on this fucking boat, so I'm thinking, okay, chain. There's literally. A fuck they ton went. of lakes, and they all connect. We launched the boat on Petite Lake, which is one of the lakes. <laughs> it's <very> <laughs> and, and it's very petite. It's very petite. It's a small lake. Most of the ladies on there, not very petite. <laughs> but that lake, very petite. <laughs> so we fucking launch the boat. We get on it, and we literally drive a football field. We drive across the Petite Lake, <laughs> and we park it. <laughs> And tie up to a bunch of other boats. And it's a fucking, it's a great time. There's literally probably 200 boats out yeah, there. Yeah, all tied up in a row. All tied up, all partying. You could walk around. Except what Jeff didn't know was he was walking into a bro down. Let me just tell you right now. <laughs> this guy, we fucking tie up. There's tribal tattoos everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are n- too tanned. This isn't natural. This they isn't a natural there, tan. I'm, bro. Oh, no. This was, Let me tell you. This was, they put spray tan on first oh, and then went out to the sun. Mm. So, so the one guy comes over and he's like, yeah, walk down. You know, there's other people drinking and partying. Oh, yeah. So I got down. And I was like, all right, everyone. We're about to enter the bro zone. <laughs> And if you want to play a game out there and get completely fucked up, do a shot every time you see a tribal tattoo. <laughs> You're dying. It, it, You'll be dead it, it, by it, the time you walk 30 feet. I'm fucking telling like, you what. Oh, oh, another one, another one. And the funny part is, like, every boat plays music. Right, but so every can't. boat wants to be the loudest. <laughs> so, like, this guy's fucking playing it, and he's blasting it. Then this pontoon shows up. Four speakers out the front, boys. Let oh, me shit. tell you. Ooh, around. shit. Woo. He was ready for petite. That lady. guy spent $70 a piece on them bitches. Oh, my God. This guy was blast. He was killing it, dude. So, like, someone would blast the fucking music, and then it was another guy's turn. But wait. But wait. Uh-oh. Five boats synced up. No. Oh, shit. Had the same station on. And let me guess. It was country. Do you want to know what I heard today? I haven't heard in a long fucking time. What's that? I heard like an, <laughs> I heard like a fucking uh, dubstep remix to Snow Informer oh, three shit. fucking times today. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I heard Old Town Old Town Road maybe oh, seven times oh. today. Oh, sounds like it was a fun day, bro. Why do I feel like the I'm- bro zone? I entered it. Throwing out, and you, and you came, I came out tan as fuck. You came out tan as fuck. <laughs> and, off and, on you. and oddly, and you somehow have this a tribal full, tattoo yeah, showed up on exactly. my arm. <laughs> you have a full tribal back piece now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a fucking good time, though. Then we went to Blarney's Island. For those of you who don't know, there's a fucking bar. It is the Key West of the Midwest. Key West of the Midwest. It's a bar in the middle of the fucking lake. It's they call it an island, but it's basically a barge. It's a barge with shivers land. barge. There's actual land and grass. Come on, no, huh? there's not. There's yeah, the there's, only grass the there. Helicopter pad. The only yeah, the only grass yeah, there is for the land a helicopter. They put that's it that's out where there. the island started. All right, and then they built off of it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen. No, right, that's so man-made. I fucking go to the bar, right? There's two guys having a flex off right off the bat. Oh, as soon as I flexing? get there. Oh, yeah, and the one dude was 50. Let's just mark it. This guy looked like this guy looked like Lou Ferrigno with a blonde <laughs> permed wig on. I <laughs> shit you not. <laughs> he, he's never seen a goddamn leg day in his life. Mike, <laughs> all I'm, upper body all the time. Look at these biceps. But he was fucking. His upper body, the goddamn sculpture, let me tell you. <laughs> this guy was a work of art. 
Well, I guess when you're fucking 60 years old, you can't really bend down that much. So <laughs> squats right. are out of the picture. Yeah. Squats are out of the picture. Day. Skipping that. <laughs> Got my no, it's a fucking, it's a fucking good time, man. The chains, the chains, always fun. But yeah, oh, if yeah. you're ever looking for a place to visit, famous Freddy's, mm. Freddy's, Cat Blarney's. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's so many uh, random bars. I mean, it's, it, dude, it's fucking huge. I think they opened the aquarium. And up. the I'm, one guy that came with us is like, we, I was like, dude, yeah, there's fucking, you know, a bunch of lakes. They all fucking connect and shit. And he's like, then why would we drive two hundred feet and park? <laughs> <laughs> It's all I'm like, because this is I where the bros are. This motherfucker. Well, I was like, why would party. you buy a fucking $70,000 boat just to go tie just it to up? Just drive across the... the lake and park it. Uh, didn't we buy a boat and just uh, Yeah, but park it wasn't $70,000. <laughs> <laughs> and let me ask you a question. Which one of you motherfuckers is going skiing? And which one of you motherfuckers is trusting the other motherfucker to pull him yeah, behind the boat? I'm not getting pulled behind anything that he's driving. I might have went tubing once, and I seen the <laughs> smile on Frankie's face. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, I just fell off it. I was like, I know what this motherfucker's about to do. He's to about me. to pin it down I'm as out. hard as he can. <laughs> I'm not, he looked back and smiled like he's a, like, oh, remember that time you locked me in the dog cage when I was 15? <laughs> you son of a bitch. bitch. He smiled at me like <laughs> fucking Billy Bob or Buffalo Bob. Buffalo <laughs> he, Bob. He gave me the fucking Buffalo Bob smile, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. And he just said, he puts the lotion on the skin mm-hmm. or he gets the hose again. Oh, he was about to give me the hose. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm out. We got one for sale. Yeah, bro. Hit us up. This email us. <laughs> email us at <laughs> the gentleman. Segway. Email us at the gentleman's den pod <laughs> at gmail.com. Uh, if you're looking for a, was it a? 92 Baja, 22, 225 Islander, 22 footer with a 350 rebuilt. No, you need to bring Ooh. it up. Speak like an American. Goddamn American. Put some bass in your voice, son. Was it not? I thought I was going with the, the smooth. This thing's voice. got a built in cooler. <laughs> Put your Budweiser's in it. I got fucking flip flops in case there's rocks. <laughs> <laughs> We will leave the case of Budweiser in it. Oh, uh, it comes in a free case of Budweiser. Free case you know of Budweiser. And an American sure. flag. <laughs> and listen, don't worry about the broke axle on the trailer. It's getting fixed it's right getting now. It's getting fixed right now. It's <laughs> yeah. in the process, bro. It's a, it's a process. It's, it's, it's not something you just fix. It's a process. You know, oh, well, I mean, there's, there's fucking steps in place here. Right. Procedures and protocols that I mean, need to be followed and implemented at the precise moments. You got perfect get, sa- yeah, satisfaction. You can't, you can't rush this shit, you know. Holy shit! You just watched a go- <laughs> an employee video, didn't you? <laughs> oh, no, that, a that's, company that's, that's my work voice. Just absolutely, said we're going to go ahead and implement this procedures and right protocols away, that need to be followed by this, you know, B one two seven code that's going on here. There's always codes. So always codes for everybody that doesn't know. Jeff's a truck driver. I'm a factory worker. Frankie is a service writer. I work in the car dealer business so he's yeah. the asshole that you see when you pull your card for an I'll oil deal change with customers no more he, he's the asshole you see that you <laughs> pull your car into the sur- into the service department for an oil change and it's like yeah you've had a tiny unicorn jumping around in your <laughs> buffalo for the last really a unicorn yeah, yeah. oh is, is, is that gonna, gonna co- be fine we might have caught it in time yeah is that gonna cost me five thousand i was you know my suggestion was paid five thousand dollars for that tiny unicorn that just ruined my muffler the Gotta problem that's deal, take the problem off. that sucks with your job is you work in the service department so no one's coming in there happy no <laughs> everyone's coming to see you what piss the, the fuck off. That's what I do. I this motherfucking that. car. And it's what my do you fault. mean it's I not under? It. Yeah, you built the car. <laughs> you fucked it up. What do you mean it's not under warranty, you son of a I bitch? I get paid very and, well. And, and what they really. don't know is Frankie can't build shit. No. So, uh, newsflash, <laughs> John Jones. Wait a minute, defen- wait a minute. John Jones retains the title with a split decision victory over Tiago Santos at UFC 239. Did that just come over the line? So what that means is... Yeah, came, there's a fax machine in the corner over there. What that means is John Jones just solidified himself as the best 205-pound fighter in history. Of all time, huh? Did he? I, you know, I don't see anybody beating him. Not when he's on the dick pills, bro. Hey, you know what, man? <laughs> Blue Chew... Not a sponsor. <laughs> Not a sponsor again. <laughs> but he hits hard as fuck. Get uh, it? 
get Dooku it. Dooku is not good for two things: barrel <laughs> rolls and John Jones. <laughs> Human kickstand. <laughs> Do not try to roll under garage doors. One under the influence of blue chew. Public safety announcement. <laughs> PSA. <laughs> PSA, guys. PSA. <laughs> if you have a blue chew boner, don't try to roll over under a garage door. Oh, my God. <laughs> You'll get stuck. I'm fucking dying here. I'm fucking dying. Man. So, Frankie had actually a uh, a good topic that we were going to discuss today. Yeah, I was curious on. And I couldn't really I couldn't really think of anything. Yeah, but really? let's, let's talk about it first. So, yeah, I want to know what movies there are that you would like to see that there were that were good back in the day that you'd like to see remade or possibly a sequel of something that was great back in the day that you've been waiting for one and it never came. See, the problem I have is that they've they've ruined so many. I know. 100%. It's like fuck, like don't I, when I hear they're remaking something, I just get disappointed. Right. Please don't fuck the it up. The only thing Please that if Christopher up. Nolan's directing it, I'm in. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Cuz everything he makes is fucking gold. What he did to the Batman series <laughs> fucked everything else up because it was so like it was, it was so, so real good. and grounded, but it was like real though. Like yeah. it wasn't like comic booky. Like yeah. the the shit that he was using were like military grade, like secret shit. Well, yeah, because he, he was he was going, just a normal dude. He was going by the Dark Knight sa- the Dark Knight saga, which went followed Bruce Wayne as a billionaire industrialist and built everything like that. Not unlike, you know, unlike some of the comic books where he was, you know, jumping off 30-story fucking buildings, doing backflips and all well, yeah, that bullshit. I, had love, that I, I even love the uh, the old Batmans oh, with the, fucking Michael Keaton. Yeah. Not Classics. the nipple suit Batmans. No. Like no. Val Kilmer and no, George if, Clooney. If you go... F- Ow. Batman, the... Fucking or- Arnold. The original Batman. I have a The original <laughs> Batman with Michael Keaton in the first two. See, then, then after that... That was going to be fucking, even darker... That was even going to yeah. be darker than it was. And uh, the first line when he's like, I'm Batman, his li- his actual line was supposed to be, I'm Batman, motherfucker. See? <laughs> but now they that would have been better. It. Right, but, but they had changed but it. But the problem is. Because they were scared. They said it was too that, dark anyway. What what year did that movie come out? 1989, I want to yeah, say. Yeah, So And then the sequel in, came out in, what, 92? Yeah, in 1989, you couldn't have an R-rated Batman. Right, because it was still a comic book, which was considered for because kids. Every, because Adam West was still on TV every Sunday morning in reruns. That's what I mean. So now that the the you know the world's in a different place, and you could watch movies that are just fucking people don't crazy. talk about the second one enough. The Batman second one. Returns was fucking awesome. Danny DeVito was the penguin. It was so Let's so dark. go! Yeah, Woo. with all the, the Michelle the Pfeiffer the, was mm. as Catwoman, and how hot was Michelle Pfeiffer? God. Damn. Jesus, it's so it's hot. Bruno Mars on. put her name in a song. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer. Dude, so good. Woo. Then we got a line of bullshit with Val Kilmer and George Clooney. I don't know what happened. I mean, yeah, how do you dis- how do you downs. destroy a series? Put Val like Kilmer, that. George Clooney in it. No, but put nipples on the suits. That you too. Slow that motion, getting dress cast. shots. Oh God. I still can't believe it has been a good movie like Jaws since 1974. Please make a good shark movie. <laughs> Deep Blue Sea, bro. How yeah, dare you? That was a the shark. Next closest. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie. And that was horrible. Was, and that's yeah, probably right. the best it so one bad. since. <laughs> it was the best one since Jaws. 1974, a fucking classic. I love the ocean. I, th- I don't know if you can really, because it's been done so well. You know, like, it they was. had the perfect formula where they barely showed the fucking shark. But it looks so exactly. real when you did So see if you it. were to do it again, you would kind of know. All right, we're not going to see the shark. Right. And then at the end, we're going to see the shark. You know? And we were talking about, too, like, it, you know, other good movies like Alien. Alien was, they pitched it. They're like, Jaws in space. <laughs> the, the guy's like, fucking say no more. I'm in. Yeah, that's, see... This is the problem I have. <laughs> fuck you. This is the problem I have with, like, the remakes. Like, they've made so many remakes movies lately of classics. That weren't good? You know, you don't remake, like, the movie Overboard with, you know. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Curry Hawn Russell. and Kurt That was Russell. a fucking, such yeah. a good it, movie. It's such a good Then they, you remake it and you make Anna Faris, the Kurt Russell part, and some fucking dude I've never heard of. 
some did French they really jerk. The yeah, it's they did. Oh, yeah. God, <laughs> it le- it, See? it you l- didn't even know about RoboCop yeah. either. Yeah. Like, <laughs> How are you remaking RoboCop? You can't top the all-time killingest movie ever. No, the most kills get fucked. Everyone else, not even <laughs> fucking Commando shooting from the hip. Not even close. He took out a whole fucking village. <laughs> And like, he doesn't even come close to RoboCop. See, I'm hoping, I'm praying they stay away from movies like The Goonies. I'm, see, I kind of wish they would bring something back. No. I think it the only reason funny, I want those movies to come back is because, like, those were like a coming-of-age movie. Yeah, Sandlot, right. Sandlot, Goonies. Like, like Stranger Things. There's oh, Stranger Things is, I like, the wait. only thing I can think of that's close to it. Close to it. A like young there's, friendship that's growing. It's all with dumbed down fucking movies. Right. You you can't. It, it's. If they remake The Breakfast Club, I will shoot the fucking director <laughs> in the face. Mm, there's so many can't. different movies, though, that but were they classics. But they, they will. will. They will. Someone will at some point will say, well. Because you know why they can't done. remake The Fucking Breakfast Club? Because they don't have fucking Saturday Detention like that anymore. They yeah, don't everyone have. skips it like I did. Well, that's what they were talking about the other day about, like, you remember scary movies back in the day? The, like, the TV would always go. Right. To that yeah. fucking white noise. Doesn't TVs yeah. don't do that anymore. Right. Yeah. So that scary? It's got to be a movie like taking place in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything's got to be based back in the time. Yeah. Right. Well, could they could period stuff that's like, oh, well, yeah, that was actually. So when it's two in the morning. The TV turns on and it's a fucking infomercial. <laughs> yeah. You got What's Billy Mays. Hunting? You got Billy Mays screaming at you. Ah, folks. Oh, fuck. Rest Shit. In, no, rest in peace, Billy Mays. All right, Pete, Billy Mays. You know who they need to bring back is the Sham Wow guy. That guy got a bad rap. I'm is he out saying. of jail? Uh, we'll find out. I mean, he could do it from jail. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Slay. He's selling shanks. <laughs> hey, guys. Check this out. The new it chops. It, it chops. It stabs. <laughs> <laughs> it slices. It slices everything. Oh, Toothbrush, butter nice. knife, doesn't matter. <laughs> so, hey, if, if anyone uh, has any titles that they would like to see remakes of or – you know, a, a, a sequel to email us at Sean. Let me let me get that email. The Gentleman's Den Pod at Gmail dot com. Someone email us. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we get emails. No emails we get emails, but they're mostly because from like people that have liked the podcast through SoundCloud. We need to do like a Twitter so we can do like pound sign email. Yeah, it's a good I, <laughs> hashtag pound, pound sign. There's no hashtag. It's dead. It's pound sign. I'm bringing pound sign back pound just for forever. the kids for when they call the fucking service. That's a t-shirt. They, right, they call the service bill. department. That's and a t-shirt. Yeah. What do you got to pay a bill online? In front of the shirt, the gentleman's then on the back. I'm taking pound sign back. Bring it back. Yeah. And Hashtag if you don't know, sign. and if you don't know that movie reference, you're probably not, shouldn't be listening to this podcast. <laughs> So, all right, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer to watch a movie and get into, like, a, a movie and watch it for a couple hours? Or do you like watching a season of, like, 10 A movie. Hours? A movie, really? A movie, 100%. See, I've had two different perspectives of this because I had, I have, like, Stranger Things, which I fucking love. Mm-hmm. Right, and it is so awesome to just binge it. But then I'm like, I'm done, you know? And you and then I had the other part of it, which I loved fucking Game of Thrones, and it's like fuck, I gotta wait a whole week. So I'm like, you want to just binge? I'm it. torn. See, the problem I have with a series instead of a movie is a series. If it's not ending, you get left on a cliffhanger on the last one, and then that you gotta the wait part. two and a half fucking years for the next fucking episode. I like a good it? movie, but I yeah. I feel like a series gets in depth more right like you get, you i love okay, okay if everyone has netflix this is a fucking psa altered carbon is oh my fucking God. amazing my favorite show now fucking amazing can you imagine if it was condensed to two hours right it would be horrible you would there would be so much shit that was missed the, the move that show it would just is feel rushed awesome. the show is fucking amazing because it's they actually go in different shit, different episodes. You can expand on shit more. Right. A movie, they're like, all right, well, yeah, season. we got to cut this out. See, a, a, a movie's A, B, and C, and a series is the whole alphabet. Right. I think I'm a huge series guy. I love watching seasons, but I am one where, like you said, I don't want to be left on a cliffhanger and be like, I got to wait till next week. I That's why wait I don't week. like when I know a movie is going to be a trilogy because <laughs> I'm going to the show. 
and yeah. then you know I know, gonna, I know I'm get getting left. the to be continued right. at the end. And you're I'm getting, like, the, oh, you're, you're getting the old rusty trombone on the way out. Yeah. That's why it's so much nicer, though, if everything's out, like when a series comes out, I'll wait to the end and watch it all one weekend compared to watching it week by week. And you just got to like some you things you can. Right. On like Game of media. Thrones, you had to be you had to be on point. Cause you, I, I, like I said, I go Everyone. down the YouTube, YouTube vortex, <laughs> and people fucking spoil that shit. So you had to be on your p's and q's. It's, you know, it's funny that we complain about this now. It's the most first world problem complaints. God damn it! I gotta wait a week to watch the next episode of this show. Yeah, this is, right. <laughs> you know what I did the other day? <laughs> this is gonna be. Well, it's not really fucked up, but it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so the kids are bitching about their food. All right. I grew up, you know, not the richest, so I got regular Kraft mac and cheese. I would have gave my left nut for some fucking Velveeta. Right? Yeah. Right? Oh. We get the kids' Velveeta shells and cheese. I don't like it. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> I sat him down on the couch, <laughs> and we watched a fucking 10-minute video about starving kids in Africa. <laughs> 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 now they know. They literally sat there and watched it, and they're like, we never want to watch that again. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I never want to bitch about your dinner again. That's eat your Velveeta cheese and shut the fuck up. I food. I eat everything. <laughs> I order in large quantity. I like variety. It's crazy, man. Like different different generations, you know. Right. My grandma, fuck, dude. If there was mold on the bread, she'd scrape it off and eat it. She I cut, just up, cut that piece I off. I grew up in the Depression. Well, that's my grandma. My, my dad's mom would take two-ply toilet paper and peel off one ply. So wow. one roll of toilet paper became two rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's being efficient. <laughs> that that's just old school but Chicago. Aren't you just right doubling there. it up anyway. Well, so? luckily you got splashback, so it was an easy wipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just shit in a bucket. It was insane. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that though? Back in the day. No, that's what I mean. Like, like kids don't even watch commercials outhouse? now, so like they would never see. You know those sad commercials where it shows the. Kids I watch commercials on fucking. YouTube. I want my old YouTube back. I want my old YouTube back where the videos were quick, easy, entertaining. No, now there's commercials. Now there's fucking. I gotta watch three goddamn ads. But when you in see those five sad minute commercials, video. it made you be like, I'm gonna eat all my food. You know what I mean? Kids don't see that now. Well, that's like that Dane Cook yeah, joke. Yeah, Sarah McLaughlin fucking going on. <laughs> Did you ever hear the Dane Cook joke where he's talking about? He's like, you know, you're at home, you're watching TV at 2 o'clock in the morning, the old man with the gray beard comes up, this is little Bimini, and Bimini is, a, right. and, he's playing, oh, yeah. and the kid's playing in the mud puddle. He goes, can you imagine if they just had some asshole in a leather jacket come in and just <laughs> 15 fucking cents? You cheap motherfuckers. You cheap son of a bitch. You can't give this kid 15 cents to get a bowl of rice and some water? Dude, I'm sitting there just crying at 2 in the morning, weeping. I hate Dude, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Anytime I hear Sarah McLaughlin, the channel gets changed. <laughs> I'll I mean, see what's I'll fucked up is the, we were talking about sports earlier, and sports is like your outlet, you know, yeah, from the yeah. rest of the fucking world. So we're down at Frankie's. He lives in Illinois, and sometimes they do this. They don't do this all the time for some fucking reason. I don't know why. But, like, during the halftime show, they'll go to, like, you know, the announcers, and they'll kind of talk about the games that are going on and yeah. all this shit. But sometimes they cut to the fucking news. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so I'm watching this fucking football game. They're like, oh, we're going to break to the news for a little bit. What? Oh, yeah. Six dead in a gun shootout and this and that. I'm like, what? I don't even. I'm so depressed. Right. Uh, little kid murdered to... <laughs> on the side of the street in Chicago tonight. I'm like, I don't even want to watch the rest of the game. Right. It's I'm so fucking fuck. depressed. The news in yeah, Illinois it takes is you, horrible. It takes you halfway through the third quarter to be like, oh, yeah, we're back watching the football oh, game again. Fuck, man. Yeah. You wait basically fourth quarter before you get that. My mom still she watches the entire news. Because she wants to see the weather. I'm like, Mom, Look they have phone. a fucking app for that now. <laughs> this is 2019. <laughs> yeah, she has a fucking one of those Amazon things. What is it? Alexa. Alexa, yeah. what's the fucking weather out? And it'll tell you. But no, she'll sit through three hours of fucking child murders and fucking houses on fire. And then they always tease the fucking thing. You know, they, they like have this news story and they're like, oh, Wait till you find out about these puppies. Coming up next. It's not next. It's three hours down the right, fucking line. For that story. Yeah, Jeez. and, and the, so you watch the whole news just to see that story they that, tease at the beginning. And that puppy story is two and a half minutes long. Right. <laughs> right at the end. I want more. Mashed well, in between all the murder and chaos. Well, if you I fucking hate the news. This is this is the thing that I, I dread about the media. 
is because it's each week it's something different to push us apart as a society. Yeah. So it's Yelly, like everybody love everybody. Well, it's not even about giving the news. Mm-hmm. No. It's about ratings. Yeah. My yeah. you know my favorite click is bait, you know click click bait. click click you know click murderer comes out as white supremacist after blowing up a mosque. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No shit. Why don't you talk about the you know the good 57 the white dudes that are shot by police over the two black dudes that are shot by police. Well, because that doesn't get the ratings. It doesn't get ratings. It's all about they stir the pot. We are, our society yeah, is controlled by forced up. racism. Yeah, and it's sad. It really is. Because in all honesty, I love everybody, man. I'll, yeah, I, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. If you're a shit person, it doesn't matter what your fucking skin tone is or what your fucking base you're race is. You're a shit person. Don't be a, a shit. A shithead is a fucking shithead. Two hundred percent. Well, the thing is that, like, we talk about racism. It's you're not born with it. It's a hundred percent fucking. It is a pit bull. It is a hundred percent. It is not a mean dog. It's how it's raised. A pit bull's not even a dog. Trained. Whatever, fucking. A pit bull. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, American Staffshire Terrier. There you go. That's the thing. That uh, that's a thing. real dog. A pit bull is Durker. not an actual fucking dog. Let me talk gibberish to you, Sean. That's what people call bird. I'm not trying to take another fucking mental vacation here, guys. Let's go to Narnia. Come on, man. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Sean was ta- at Narnia. On next it. time I see that guy, if we're ever in line <laughs> with him again. His, he's going to give him a hug. No, no I'm going to walk away here, and let you fucking talk to him. <laughs> and you take that fucking journey. Because I'm going to tell you right now, he'll look you, his, you look into his eyes you and it you. sucks you in. It's like a succubus. <laughs> just, he just, he just actually, he didn't suck the life out of you. He put the life right in. He you. fucking grabbed my soul and put it in a rear naked and fucking he your butt. That's what it was. Yeah, he stuck his thumb deep in my anus. Oh, what kind of person are you? Are you gonna push back? I no, I just said. <laughs> yeah, you're hey, gonna push back or be like, what the? Fuck? Hey, take off that Super Bowl ring and we could talk there, fella. How dare you? Was Never it a Bears ring? Off. I wouldn't take it off. No, I would tell you. Put it inside me. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. 85 <laughs> Bears ring? 85 yeah. Bears ring. Yeah, Which I you. held in my hand. Yes, you did. He did. You're Sean welcome. Sean and I DJ at a wedding. You're welcome. And uh, Jerry Venisi was there, yep. the general manager for the 1985 Chicago Bears. Ooh. Happened to just have a <laughs> ring on him. And Basically, he the was wearing a Super Bowl ring, and I said, can I please fucking hold that and take a picture <laughs> with it? <laughs> I remember when you said that to me. The man <laughs> that no drafted way. William the Refrigerator Perry. Good pick. That was a good Solid pick. Solid pick. Yeah. Also, he drafted Kevin Butler. Another good pick. Butthead. 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 Greatest. Pound sign Butthead. Pound sign Butthead. <laughs> that, in, in all honesty, with Jeff and I DJ, we've DJed what? F- at least 100 plus weddings. Maybe now. like two. It's got to be. Plus countless bars. Bars are fine because you can yeah. just get fucked. I mean, I puked. I straight up puked in the DJ booth. Cleaned it up with a. Some kind of shirt. I don't know whose shirt it was, but there's a shirt laying there. I just wiped it up. And I bet it was yours. true story. You and then I beer. and then uh, like Frankie had shots top. for me waiting at the bar. So yeah, like a true Wisconsinite, I took those shots. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> and went back to DJing. We, I My love hero. DJing weddings. I don't because it's it's like their biggest <laughs> day fucking ever. But, don't fuck that up. But see, right? That's that, the oh Jesus. I remember my sister and my. Uh, my stepsister had a wedding, and I was like, well, I'll DJ. And she's like, no, I don't want you to DJ because I want you to have fun. This guy shows up in the pirate shirt from the fucking Seinfeld, Seinfeld episode. episode. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> and she was so pissed at this guy. He ruined her fucking wedding. See, he, well, he, he didn't play anything I bet she you know, wanted he to hear. His boys, I killed it. Fucking nailed it, See, bro. And that's the difference between us and a shitty fucking DJ. Because I tell you guys because, when you suck. No, because... <laughs> I dare you. and every couple that I've ever booked a DJ with could fucking attest for this. I have fucking met with them face to face. I have figured out what they wanted. And then we built off that. And if they needed anything, they called us. We have never had a complaint at a wedding at a so bar. Well, DJ at a bar. DJs, different story. DJs are like tattoos, you know. Good DJs aren't cheap. cheap. And I know cheap that DJs thing. aren't good. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of like last weekend when we were sitting outside at the local bar. I mean, Frankie's got a tattoo that says "Regret Nothing," like not even a single letter. 
You know what? <laughs> you know what I not want? one letter. Not one letter. You I don't got re- nothing on one arm and regret on the other arm. So like my both arms got to be up to read it. So sometimes people will see just the left arm and they're like, and they're like "Oh, you got nothing says? tattooed on your arm?" Yeah, I'm like, "Oh, what, what's that tattoo say?" I'm like, "Nothing." They're like, "No, nah, I seen a tattoo. What's it say?" I'm like, "Nothing." <laughs> Dude, I'm like what? I'm like here. Sweet, let me show you. dude. Yeah, that's um, dude. <laughs> dude, my car? sweet. And they're just like, why do you got nothing tattooed on your arm? See, I so there's another. That. that was a, that was another. All of, bad all See, of, that's exactly what we're talking about <laughs> about movies. So you got the fucking first movie over here, and you got the fucking right? sequel over there. If you want to use that for a movie? Go ahead. It's a pretty good one. For the love of God, don't make a movie about shit. <laughs> Frankie shitty tattoos. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. In this day and age, it'll probably be an Oscar winner. All right, and Brad Real Pitt quick, will probably pay Frankie. Who? All right. Who? I was gonna say, who is gonna play us if there was ever a movie? Who would play you? Well, I'm a chameleon, so I can have anybody. Yeah, play me. he's okay. right now. He's Keanu Reeves. Yeah, you. You should have seen. I had my hair slicked back, and with this with this beard, I look fucking exactly like Jared Leto. Or Jared Leto <laughs> could play him. Dude, I'm have gonna Jared get Leto play me. Listen, in all honesty, I'm gonna get stuck with someone like Seth Rogen or something like that. Some mediocre looking motherfucker. Maybe the big that, show. <laughs> maybe the big show. <laughs> but Seth uh, Rogen, I can see. That'd yeah, be, Seth Rogen. Yeah. And then for Frankie, it's it's got to be a Spanish actor. <laughs> I'm would, sorry. It's, would it would it be uh, Uncle Jesse? It might be. It might be <laughs> Stamos, or it might be the guy. You look a lot like John Stamos. <laughs> Or it might be the love so interest long, for when Mia, you had your long hair, especially. Right. It might be the love interest for Mia, Mila Kunis in Bad Bad uh, Moms. That Spanish fella, he might play the Frankie because he's a he's the a young, small the, he, he's smaller. Is he the stature. same guy? What was that movie with uh, Diana Lane, and uh, where she cheats on her husband, Richard Gere? Oh no 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 not him. W- not that Spanish no, guy. No no not that Spanish guy. He could guy. play Frankie though. Oh he could too. He could he could fit into that role too. No, no, I'm, I'm lost because I don't know who some of these people are. I'm not good with names. What about the? You know the guy from Bad Boys too? Maybe he can play you. Oh yeah, this is fucking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, who who should play Frankie? Jeff. That's is. what he says when he see, when he, when they have the the trust Nooney tattoo. Frankie looks in the mirror and says, "This is fucking depressing." <laughs> actually, you know who should play Frankie in a movie? <laughs> Was from the guy from Three Amigos. What is this? He's a sweater. <laughs> a sweater. <laughs> They're in fucking Mexico. Booker. <laughs> they keep getting him sweaters for his birthday. If you've never seen Three Amigos, you're that not an American. Classic. That is. They'll probably classic. remake that too. Yeah. See. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Be you know what? See. We should be the next Three Amigos. There's this real simple. There's movies you don't remake. You don't remake remake the Three Amigos. You don't make remake Blues Brothers. One of the Blues Brothers. They is, did. Yeah. No, they made Blues Brothers 2000. 2000. It was a sequel. It wasn't a fucking a remake. But all right, so but that's what I'm saying. So some of these movies, though, you might see a remake of it, the same exact thing, like the, the Tron or whatever. But what if it, like it was the just good Tron? You saw a good one. The good. <laughs> they were both. They were both dog shit. I liked them both. I don't care. The the only said. reason the first one is so awesome is because of the special effects were just so far ahead of their fucking time. Yeah. Exactly. And all it was was just a green screen. It was trash. Assholes and a blue spoon. But it was so good. The second one, I, I was so pumped. I was so pumped, and then I was so depressed. I didn't like it at all. I the special effects was. I'm about to be very, uh, very disrespectful, but I got to piss or I'm piss all over myself. So you guys keep this conversation well, just going. Pee your pants, dude. Yeah, no one's do judged. This podcast. is a judgment free zone, right? Jesus I mean, Christ! He, I was wondering. He was doing like a little happy dance. He was. He's fucking, fucking sat wild. down in a comfy chair and <laughs> fucking pinches his I'm legs together. I'm wondering why he's rocking and moving. He's going side to side, doing the cha cha cha, crossing his fucking legs and shit. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of my drink while he's gone. Yeah, go ahead. Some dead air. What do you want? Yeah, fuck it, bro. Stay hydrated, my friends. You would look like the guy that do a Dasaki commercial. <laughs> Did I thank you? I will. I will. That's that a good a play, you Antonio Banderas. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would really like to sit down and think about like who. So at your work, I mean, you're Polish and Italian. And German. And German. But your fucking skin is so dark. <laughs> you work in the service department. Has anyone ever come up to you and spoke you Spanish fucking, to you? Are you kidding me? Do you know how many <laughs> times even other like employees like that I've worked with now for, you know, months and months and shit, they'll come up to me like, Hey, you know Spanish, right? You talk to this person? 
I'm like, no, I'm fucking Italian, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, oh, your really? Your darkness you're, you're comes from spe- your darkness comes mostly from your dad, who's Polish. He's right. the darkest Polak I've the, ever seen in my life. Dude, the darkest, jet black hair, a <laughs> l- little less jet black now, but dark as fucking skin, tans like you wouldn't believe, man. Oh, there were so many gingers out on the lake ten- today. I was Ooh, like, you know how f- bad they're hurting you're today. You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you are fucked. They're like, oh, they're all bitching because the the sun isn't fucking shining, oh. and it's cloudy. And I'm it's just, just thinking like, to myself, you get more burnt, right? Because it's it's magnifying yeah, through the, the water sun. crystals of the clouds, <laughs> and you're just. I wish it was sunny out. I, I wish to it was sunny. I wanted to get tan. Hand. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna be. Fuck, that's a couple hours here. <laughs> you are at home not. right now, like, oh my god, I well, can't move. Spread an aloe. In, all, uh, in all honesty, right now, Jeff, you you look like uh, queer. No, you look like a uh, narcos. One of the one of the scenes. You look like an '80s detective or an '80s detective that's <laughs> undercover right now. You should, I shave the, I shave the must, should I shave the mustache? No, should, do not. I want to see the mullet and the mustache come back. But at the same it will. time, maybe for Halloween. You I don't should know. go back to like Keanu Reeves, like Bill and Ted's Six on Adventures, like parted oh, down the middle. I'm like the hair off. Do Bill not, do not shave that fucking glorious beard off. No, nah, you, you shouldn't. I wonder what your face looks like. It's pro- I would probably be frightened if I seen it. And you know what it looks like? Probably pretty white right now because oh, his fucking guy. Head, he looks like he's been picking cabbage for three I would weeks love right you now. To do that, shave that beard just to see your all the bros. All cheeks. the bros on the lake today, shave chests, shave oh, faces. 200%. There wasn't a beard in sight. I was the only. All the ladies were like, hmm. "That beard. Look at that it's, beard. It's the mystery of the beard, it's right? The mystery of the beard. That they just burly love it. man. God, I want some of that beard. Lumberjack. Mm. By the way, I had to pee because I just drank a. 24 ounce fucking PBR very quickly. That means he's drunk. No, I'm not. <coughs> I am not that. Drunk. I am not drunk. Five beer pong. Five beer, 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 beer pong. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a five beer beer pong. Mine it was, was a, you son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what you get. So, yeah, that that was a night that you were out drinking. Oh, dude, just uh, I'll be over in like an hour. Four I just hours turned later. 21. Yeah. Four hours later, you show back up at my house at like three in the morning and wake me up. I'm like, you fucking cocksucker. You're like, fill me up a beer bong. I'm taking a piss. I'll be back. I'm like, all right, I'll fill you up a fucking beer bong, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> I put like five fucking beers in there and held it up. I said, let's go. Come on, champ. Step up to the plate. And I started chugging it like a champion. <laughs> you did. Like and then I, chugs. I cut it off and I was like. <laughs> There's way more than two in here. You're like, yeah. You're like, there's way more than one beer in here. I'm like, no, no, no. There's only two. You're like, bullshit. <laughs> and you just started chugging like a champ again. <laughs> right back at it. You did finish it. I you did. did. You are a fucking animal. You know why? Why? Tell me why. Because it's right after the 4th of July, and I'm a red-blooded American. God American. damn it. <laughs> I feel like you should have had a fan blowing your hair in the wind when you said that. Listen. We were talking the other day about fucking... You remember Freedom Fries? Does anyone? Yes. Like Sean does. Yes. Sean's the only. Frankie didn't remember. I don't remember, I don't remember so that. So the story of Freedom Fries was this. When we went. We, obviously, we have French fries, but then yeah. we're like, fuck French fries. What happened was we went back into the Iraq war, or we were going back to war with Iraq or with Afghanistan or one of the Middle Eastern countries at the, the French fucking time. nothing to do with it. And the French said, No. <laughs> no. No. Suck le bleu. Suck le bleu. No. I'm, go- I'm going to sit home and fight and drink wine and eat cheese. They were eating French fries. And then all of the, we'll call them red-blooded Americans. Patriots. Real quick, Patriots. though. Patriots. What do they call French fries in France? Are they just fries? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> they're actually, they're ac- they're actually called. Can I just called, get some fries? They're yeah, actually called. Fries. Deep fried potato slices in French. French? <laughs> French. It's, it's it's French and ranch together. French. Oh, you put ranch sauce on your French was fries? That, was that his American? That was a French. <laughs> Those French? fucking Frenchies. So, <laughs> so the media, being what the media is, said, hey, let's call them freedom fries. America, motherfucker. Because America is the home of freedom. We got the Statue of Liberty. We got fucking cable TV. We got fucking titties and monster trucks. American Freedom flag. fries. Pants. Boom. Porter pants. And, Porter and pants. what happened? Every fucking fast food spot in America 
said they had Freedom Fries now. For like a week. N- not French fries. <laughs> Except for Arby's, who's like, yeah, fuck you. We still have curly fries. Curly. <laughs> the best Seasoned ever. curly. Seasoned. Gentlemen. Small. Fucking curly. Small. Seasoned curly. <laughs> So I have a I have a French fry story <laughs> to you tell do. you guys about. That that brings us to Jeff's French fry story. Ah, oh, boy. This. So this restaurant, which won't be named, right down the street, I order <laughs> from them all the fucking time. I order pizza from them all the fucking time. And my lady is like, I don't want pizza tonight. Let's get something else. So I'm like, fine, whatever. I order an Italian beef. She Ooh. orders a gyro. I order a large fry. Euro, euro. This place literally. Euro. Not a gyro, a euro. <laughs> this place is two minutes down the road, but I work 12 hours. I don't want to drive. I ain't picking it up. <laughs> I'll pay the extra $3 because I'm American. Bring it to me. <laughs> I'm fat. I'm not getting off the couch. So for an Italian beef, a large fry, and a euro took an hour and 26 minutes to get Shut to my house. Your face. I Were swear. They? To fucking God. Were they murdering the lamb to make the euros? Right. Apparently. Gosh. I could hear the screams from here. <laughs> it's two minutes from my house. <laughs> so the shit shows up, whatever. You know, it's late. I'm fucking starving. We started eating these fries first. And I got some cheddar dipping sauce, as I do. Ooh. King of the cheese sauce. Jeez. King of the cheese sauce. We started eating these fries. And I'm like, hmm. This tastes kind of funny. And like funny how like a clown and my lady's like movie reference. Do these taste sweet to you? I'm like, yeah, these taste kind of fucked up. <laughs> so we we lick the fry. Guess what? what? Sugar instead of salt. Yes. No way. They put fucking sugar <laughs> <laughs> on my fucking French fries <laughs> instead of salt. Why is there sugar anywhere near the French fries? <laughs> how do you fuck this up? The kids fucking loved them. Oh, I oh, bet. of course they did. I bet these are amazing. I bet that's gonna be a new thing now. They're gonna start being like, "Can I have some sugar for my fries?" So yeah, I got a fucking Italian beef and a load of sugar fries. That's ridiculous. Did you have cheese on your beef? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> mozzarella. Ooh, what a with salt. <laughs> salt. <laughs> Cut some what if salt. I would have put sugar on that? That would have oh, been fucking man. horrible. That would have been fucking crazy. <laughs> Luckily, I had a nice big ch- cheese bin. I could drown out the fucking sugar. I couldn't believe it, though. I, I was so fucking hungry. Yeah, that's 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 disappointing, to be honest with you. What does a place who makes pizza, hot dogs, Italian beefs need sugar for? Uh, and why is it ooh, anywhere near the fucking they, fries? Maybe they make some killer lemonade. No, no iced tea, sir. Ew. I think I give them packets of iced tea. You're telling me Ew. they're mixing iced tea next to the fucking Italian yeah, beef? They might have been. <laughs> You know, maybe they got one of those fountain machines that it's just, you know, cycling and cycling. They got to add sugar. Circling and circling and circling <laughs> some more. I couldn't fucking believe it, guys. <laughs> if you don't know what that's I from. can't write this shit. This is real life fucking problems here. Yeah, First word problems. Fuck that kid in Africa jumping in puddles. <laughs> he ever had fucking sugar fries? <laughs> I bet he would love them. And he'd be so happy. You Even that kid would have spit him out and been like, these taste weird. <laughs> 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 I've been eating. I've been eating rice and water my whole life. Uh, these fries taste. Like, funny. Yeah, these fries I'm taste kind of sweet. Rice. And then he licks it. Fuck those. Like, yeah, that's what sh- freedom fries. They are. sugar on them. here. <laughs> Goddamn right. No, see those. Uh, technically, those were the new America freedom fries. Since everybody's gonna have diabetes and be three hundred and ninety-seven pounds when they're six years old. Yeah, maybe that's a new thing now. Is that why I'm fat? No, you're fat because you fucking your calorie intake is the same as fucking Andre the Giant's. I like my variety, and I don't like to waste. Just get a variety pack. How many burgers did you just come to from McDonald's with? Uh, two. It was only two. You cocks. It was only two this week. Yeah. Yeah, but they were double, so that's like four. No. <laughs> no. I ripped off some of the bun. Oh, I bet you did. <laughs> oh, and carbs are a little hard. <laughs> and dipped it in fucking pure. I was hungry. I didn't fat. eat all day. You were out on the boat with. Bros and shit. I was just chilling. Maybe hey man, not watching Stranger he was, Things. See, he was broing out. It happens. Sometimes you got to bro out. Sometimes you got to get t- some tanning spray on you. And so the moral of this podcast is: don't put sugar on fries. 
No, mm. never. Try it. Try it first. Be your own judge. If you guys, yeah, you guys are out there and listening, be like, hmm, I wonder what that is. Be like, no like. salt, please. Can I have some packets of sugar? <laughs> yeah. Do you have sweet and low? I'm trying to watch the intake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious if someone did try it. Just try it. Fuck it. I might try it. I don't know why. <sighs> just that one. Don't ruin the whole supply. Yeah, don't don't ruin your whole stack of fries. Right, just that's a, there you go. Now you're, now you're thinking. But is there anybody else here that, you know, will go to Wendy's and get a Frosty and order a large fry nope. and, eat, and eat the Frosty with the fries? I don't do that. I do. All right. I've dipped. I got one it's for you. It's delicious. I want to know. Have it's you not ever like mixed? something I do all the time, you know? But it's, it's like it, a sexual it, position. It, it's <laughs> like, yeah, I'll try it this tonight. But Yeah, it's 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 like, you I'm know, when you're putting your, head, your foot on her head time. and you're getting in there real deep like. I don't know about that. You know? <laughs> Stepping on bitches? <laughs> I want to know. Sometimes you gotta step on a bitch. Do you guys ever mix cereals? Now, this is something that I've been, people looked at me weird about. I love to mix cereals. Depending on what it is. Okay, but have you have you done it before? Well, yeah, I've had you know, I've I've honestly never done it. You've I, never done that. I've but had, I do eat Cheerios, regular plain old Cheerios, in chocolate milk. Oh my god, it's so good! I looked at it like he was crazy when he, he first thought, said that. Frankie thought I was fucking nuts. <laughs> I'm like, I'm no, like, dude, what? just try it. Well, <laughs> chocolate milk and Cheerios. Because if you eat Delicious. Cheerios and just milk, it's you might as well just eat the cardboard fucking box because it's the like same them. flavor. I love, that's what you can put I love regular on. fucking Cheerios. Cheerios. Yeah, yeah but them. but just it, but it just and it lowers milk, your heart rate according to the box. Right? But but just in milk, they're they're pretty flavorless. I don't knock milk. I love milk. When you put them with the chocolate milk, you get a little bit of that cocoa in there, and mm. it does something with them oats and honey. Fuck, I, we got to end this podcast now because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I came over eating food. So what do you what do you mix? So yeah, I like to mix. What are your combo? Like, What's so your favorite combo, bro? Yeah. yeah. It started when I was young. I've been doing this where there was only a little bit of each kind, so that's when I started mixing. Well, yeah, that's normal when I mix too. But like, I, I, that's why I've learned to do like anything. But like, you know, cinnamon toast crunch and like fucking cookie crisp or something, or, <laughs> See, or you know, Fruit Loops and apple. J- I don't care. See, oh, oh there's so many I don't, lucky charms and frosted flakes. Like, fuck. I don't eat those cereals. <laughs> You're not a like, kid still. like, What's like up? my cereal is like Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Dude, how <laughs> greasy is the roof of your mouth after eating yeah, that shit? Yeah, it's got some weird film on it. Yeah. The, the worst Captain cereal Crunch? of all time oh. is Captain Crunch because it just tears, tears the, the shit out of the so roof good. of your mouth. I'll mix that with some, like, Apple Jacks or Fruit Loops. See, my my cereals, I'm like Life, Original, or Cinnamon, Honey Nut Cheerios. I love Frosted Cheerios. Frosted Ooh. Cheerios or ones? Frosted Flakes. Or Raisin Bran. I don't what? buy the sugary fucking What <laughs> did he just cereals. say? He snuck Raisin Bran in at the end. Raisin, yeah, like we weren't going to notice. <laughs> Dude, Raisin Bran's delicious. <laughs> raisin, <laughs> raisin Bran's delicious, you <laughs> sons of bitches. You have to, like, taste the ass in your mouth. That's what ranch dressing. What are you talking about? That's ranch dressing. Well, I don't care. Bro, I'm fucking dying. That was hilarious. You stuck it in. You were sneaky there when we caught you. Hey, I like raisin <laughs> bread. I like raisins separately. <laughs> I don't want that shit. A raisin? With your milk? A fucking Ew. raisin? Ew. <laughs> you know As what? we're standing in a garage that has two boxes of Wheaties. Yeah, bro, that's got Walter Payton and, and Jordan yeah, those, on it. Just, motherfucker. That's and the greatest if you stick ever. a magnet in a box of Wheaties, you get metal that comes out because they got iron. Next time you're home alone, <laughs> oh, next time you're home alone, get a bowl, put some milk in it, and then dump some raisins in it and look at it and be like, yeah, that looks tasty as fuck. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. <laughs> looks like some rats fucked and then shit all in your milk. Oh, no one's <laughs> eating that fucking All milk. right, ladies and gentlemen, and on that note, <laughs> That brings us to a close of another edition of The Gentleman's Den. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for subscribing. iTunes, SoundCloud, and Spotify. We are so happy that you're listening to us every week. It is it, it it warms the cockles of our hearts. Let us know what cereals you mix. Yep. Send us emails. You know, and if you know us, like if you personally know us. Text. Just send us a text message or a DM on the old fucking or a Snapchat. Snapchat. Do we have a Twitter? 
Soon. Soon. We'll get a Twitter up here so you guys I can I have just... an Instagram, and it has one picture on it from 2012. So If you love oh, Hoobastank, go to Jeff. If you Jeff's love Hoobastank, <laughs> I saw a Hoobastank concert in 2012. It's my only picture on there. That's how you know it's a... I do mines. Snapchat. I love the filters. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you do not follow Jeff on Snapchat, it's a good follow. It's a good follow. I, I tell everyone what my Snapchat is, but I don't even fucking know it. <laughs> we'll find that out. <laughs> we'll find it out and let you know. That's a teaser. <laughs> That's a teaser for next week, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. For once again, for Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thank you very much for listening. We will see you next week with another edition of The Gentleman's Then. Have a great week. Laters. Bye. (laughs) Gentlemen, you are fucking savages. I love you.